All right, Jerry, and just kind of sum up this game for you. I mean, you're a Mississippi guy. Uh, do you spend any time explaining to guys on the roster from out of state how important this is to the people of the state of Mississippi? Oh, for sure, sure. I mean, this is the game that uh, that you only have to win. You can lose all the rest of them. But this one, you must win this one. No matter how much, no matter what it takes, no matter what you got to do, got to win this one. And uh, and I've just been stressing that importance to our young guys and to to the guys that's out of state. I mean, like this is a big game. This is if you're from Alabama, this is your Iron Bowl. If you're from Florida, I don't even know who Florida plays when they play that rivalry game. Florida State, this is that game. So I mean, this is this is a big game. Harris, go ahead. Hey, Jerry, what have you seen from uh, Otis Reese on the scout team defensively? You see him around the ball every play. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Uh, I truly mean that. He's around the ball every single play. And if he hits you, he's going to hit you hard. And if you run high, he's going to hit you hard. And if you run low, he's going to hit you hard. He's just going to hit you. And that's what he does. He flies around and he gets it gets to the football and uh, something I've been saying all along, like, why is he over there? <laughs> and so, I mean, he always, he been giving us good looks all year. And I mean, it's just like playing a game when he's back there. And so he gives good looks. How hard is it for a guy to sit out all that he has this season, all these games and step right in and be ready for game speed? No, uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, it's gonna take him a couple, probably a half to to really get adjusted. But uh, but this is a perfect matchup for him. I mean, a team that doesn't really try to over overcomplicate things. They 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 just like throwing the ball around. They don't really just run the ball. So I mean, it's just if this if it was we could pick any game for him to come back, it would be this one because. He fits the mode for this game. Go to Nick. When you see State do something like only allow eight rushing yards in a game to Georgia, what are they doing so well, and what is the challenge for you in the run game to kind of reverse that? Uh, I kind of look at it two ways. I kind of look at it as Georgia running backs do not run with the same details as we do. and uh, They don't rely on the same keys as we do, so – I kind of look at it in that way, and I kind of also look at it as they always get up front. They always got a good front three, four, and they always got some backers. So, I mean, it's, they always been known as that defensive team, and we, Ole Miss has kind of always been known as that offensive team. So, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And so you just got to go out there and just make every run a positive run. You do that. Your curiosity here. Did you ever come across Will Rogers playing in the Metro when you guys were younger? Uh, I did not. I did not. But uh, I threw with Will and Mingo all the time at Brandon High School because me and Mingo stayed in the same same neighborhood. So, and he was Mingo's quarterback. So I just always was with, was with them. David, go ahead. Yeah, Nick kind of asked both the things I was going to ask, but. Um, uh, just curious. I mean, I know you've got some some friends, some some compadres on that Mississippi State roster. You guys talk back and forth at all during game week? Uh, we haven't talked. I haven't talked to any of my friends from State this week. Uh, at least not yet. I tell them a lot about it on Saturday after the game. Go to Nick. Do you have a favorite Egg Bowl memory or something that stands out from growing up in the state? I don't have a – I'll say this. So, I know it's kind of weird, uh, but growing up, I pretty much was a Mississippi State fan. And so, uh, kind of have a little cowbell at home and everything. I got to go burn it. <laughs> but, yeah, growing up, I was a State fan for the most part. And uh, and so, all my memories are, are bad ones from Ole Miss, so. 
you gotta create some new ones. Go back to David. Hey Jerry, um, with that being said, when it kind of boiled down to the bone, so to speak, how, how serious were you considering Mississippi State as a recruit? Mm, early on, probably ninth, ninth grade to really junior sophomore year, I was I was really close to committing to them. Uh, they was the first school to ever offer me. They offered me in seventh grade for baseball, and uh, and I love their baseball program, and uh. And it was just somewhere I really wanted to go and had spent much of my time there because it was only like 45 minutes from my house. So, I mean, it was, it was there. Uh, if you go to my house, there's a bunch of state stuff hanging up around. We got state on the door, state on the driveway. I mean, it's just, it's just start with that way. But, uh, Towards the end, I really didn't have any aspirations of going there. There was only one school that I would go to if I was going to stay at state, and that was the University of Mississippi. So, what what changed? Mm -hmm. I didn't like their football program, and I don't like their football program, and so. Fair enough. 